All right, let's go into speed of the market. Let me go today, uh, yesterday's big move up, and then I'll go over today what we're looking for. So this is what I'm talking about, about speed in the market. Let's look at the 1030 trade, and then we'll go to today's trading. I want to do a quick video on this so you understand it. What I'm talking about is I want you to look at that. We, we all know that this is a three sim Renko I'm looking at right now. It's a three sim Renko, very small time frame. The trend box is designed to look off a larger time frame or a larger Renko bar or nine sim Renko. So what these boxes are showing is, is the nine Renko trend, which is our large, large trend chart. So when you see this big giant box develop here, at this level, you know one thing. You know that you have what? You have a possible reversal in the market. So that is a big box indicating a possible consolidation reversal. The key is this. When you see setups like this, you get the moving average crossing over in your direction, which is positive. But I want you to concentrate on the size of the boxes, the width, the width of the boxes. Look how the width of this box is, box is thin. Let me get the arrow. You start watching this, you're going to start seeing a uh, trades develop where you're getting into uh, markets with speed, and that's a key to trading. You want to get in markets that have speed to back your setups up. So let's look at this box, see how thin it is. Once you start seeing thin boxes develop, look for the first retracement. Once you see that first retracement, that should be your golden entry right there for a high probability setup right there and that first retracement after speed comes in the market after a reversal this works great on trend watch how this works this week it catches these big snapback moves because what the market does it gets this is the path of least resistance so these boxes are measuring speed of the market so because there's a trend filter built into the Renko bar well what it's doing is measuring the speed on a larger time frame so now you can measure speed off of a smaller time frame for a retracement. So if I get a reversal here, which is measuring the 9 Simrico, and I see thin boxes, and this works on all markets, if I see thin, I want to try to get in the first retracement. There's a first retracement. Gets below on the 3 Sim, 10%. You want to be below 10% or above 90, especially on the 3 Sim. There's your first reversal bar. Your stop loss can be two ticks below the swing low. And there's a high probability setup. Because once you get speed in the market, they become very, very thin. And it works on the same thing on the short side setup. Short side setup here, we had a big reversal box. Look how thin they get. They're getting thin, thin, real. Th that's a very thin box after a big consolidation box reversal. Same thing's going to develop. You see this big box? It's, that means there's a con consolidation reversal or a, a possible major top. And once you see it, you got the MAs in your direction. What I want you to do is you see speed in the market. Look for the first retracement up. That's your short because of what? After this box formed right here, after it closed, this is your entry box right there. The next box is hasn't developed, hasn't closed yet, but look at that thin box. That means there's speed in the market, and you're good to go. That's your entry right there on the short side setup. So it works both ways. But when you see thin boxes develop, you're getting speed in the market. Okay, and for example, right here, we're at HVA today. This is today's trading. We had a big consolidation box. Consolidation box means what? Major big box. If you see big boxes, there's no speed in the market. You got a what? A possible major top. So I don't care if it's green or red. If you see this box close and you're in a flat range market, it's typically a reversal. So we're in a flat market today because the market profile is showing consolidation at the um, at the lows and the highs I not I mean um, the MAs are flat I'm sorry and so when you see a big box that means it's usually the M top W bottom or it's a major top or major bottom the larger the box then you come back into thin we're getting speed back in the market down to the lower lows or higher highs so it's very important that you understand this is that when you see um, big into small that's usually the speed of the market and you can jump in on the first retracement. And it's like that every day in all markets. And what I like to see is I like to see that. I like to see thin markets like here. Let's get uh, from a consolidation, big consolidation boxes into or reversals into a thin. Once I see a thin box, I'm going to look for that first retracement. That first retracement right there 
caught the high into the close, and then we come all the way low into the close again. So, and it works, like I said, on all markets. It doesn't matter, but it's the first, like I said, here's your short. Here's another short side setup. Here's a consolidation box right there. Consolidation, the red box uh, tells you we're in a trend possible short. Get thin. Look how thin those boxes are. Speed coming in the market. Look for that first retracement. Catches that major top right here also. So it's very important for you to understand that is that once you see thin boxes come in the market, that means that that's a path of least support or least resistance. And then we can look for the first retracement. And I want you to watch for that this week on, on these markets. And it happens, like I said, in, in all markets. For example, if you're, here's a trend up, obviously a big trend. Look at the speed of the market here. It goes from a big consolidation box to a thin box, thin box, thin box. Look for the first retracement. There you go. Big reversal box. You're getting a thin box again. There's your first retracement at the high. Catch the high. Caught the high. Caught the high. Caught the high. Look at the speed. Look how thin these boxes are. There's no resistance, no support below me because I have a trend filter built in. The thinner the box, the more speed you're going to get. So as you can see, when I get thin boxes, the market really accelerates. So if I start seeing thin boxes print, I know that retracement trading is in play. If I see big, thick blocks, boxes that are printing, I know possible consolidations are in play. So the thinner that gets, that means it's going to take off. So right here again, you can see that we start, we get a reversal box. Then it gets real thin. Once it gets real thin, another thin, another thin, that retracement right there caught the low, then she pops. And it works like that on a daily basis. Now, this is a 3SIM. Here's another day. This is another uh, great example. You know, this is a couple days ago. So once again, I got a big reversal box. And look at the speed. I got speed, speed, speed. Thin boxes coming in, path of least resistance. First retracement catches the low here. Another retracement catches the low here. Another retracement catches the low here. Another retracement catches the low there. So my point is, is that when you see thin boxes coming in, you got speed in the market and look for retracement trading. And like I said, it works great in trend. On tops and bottoms, what you want to see on reversals, if you want to see, um, here's another great example. I mean, this thing just exploded at 9 o'clock in the morning. Here's your big reversal box. Look how thin we get. We get thin, we get thin, we get thin, we get thin, we get thin. We get thin. Path of least resistance, there's no, no resistance. There's your first retracement right at the low, and it catches that huge move up with a very small risk off the 3 sim. Remember, this is reading the 9 sim trend. See there? Boom. There it is. Takes off. Look at thin bar, thin bar, thin bar. You can take another retracement. If they get thin, you know you got speed in the market. Thin box, take another retracement. There it is again, three in a row. So you get these big moves after these thin, after these boxes print another one thin box thin box another retracement catches the low again so my point is is look at the thickness of the bar of the box that, that prints not only green or red but look at the if it's thick or thin because if it you get a reversal bar like this in the day the moving average cross down and I go into a thin box I'm like hey I want to take that first retracement because I'm in a fast market there's your speed in the market so not only the trend boxes can determine reversals by the thickness of the box, it can determine speed. And you can find out when speed in the market's coming. Here's another great entry. Look at the speed. Here's a big reversal box. There's your big reversal box, calculating the 9 sim. Look how thin that bar is. Look how thin that bar is compared to that thick reversal box right there at the lows. So what I want to do, I'm going to look what? Entry off the 3 sim, trend after 9 setup. What I want to do is, is try to get in at that low. Based upon what? Below 10%. There you go. Another big one. It just is day after day after day. Here's another one. Big reversal box. There's a thin box. Thin, thin. Path of least resistance. Take the first retracement. Here it is. There it goes. All right. So look at the thickness of the box to determine. Now, if you see a big wide box like this, that's a reversal box. Look for thin box, thin Thin, thin, getting speed, there's your buy. There's your buy. All right, I can do this all the way back and go back. If you have this on your own system, back test this on any type of market, and it is phenomenal catching speed because you'll see the big thick. It goes to thin, 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 catch a speed right there. Look at the market just take off from speed. Bam, it is fast. Fast moving markets when you have thin boxes and you finally get a good retracement.
And so if you have the system on your own, here's another great example. I can go day by day, and you'll see the top trades you're going to get is when you go from thick consolidation boxes to thin boxes back to retracements. It is just works really well together. Once again, thin, 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 thin. There's your first above 90%. Catches the exact level we want to get in right there to that bar. Okay? So look at that. Look what I'm talking about. It's just every day it's like that. Once again, you go into a thin, 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 thin market. First retracement catches this high. Look at the speed. You get speed. All right, so check that out. It works on the buy side too. Here we go. Buy side reversal, thin, thin boxes. Take the first retracement. Catches the big speed move. All right, so right here again, let's take a look at consolidation day. If I'm doing consolidation day when the market's flat, the market called what we're looking for. Look at that big, thick box it printed. Big, thick box it just printed. That was an HVA high. Came into thin box. So you're, 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 you're looking for what? To come down to LVA. It comes down to LVA. Big box prints. Let's see if we get some speed, speed boxes to pop us back up. But my point is, is that look at the thickness of the box to determine if there's speed in the market. And then look for the first retracement. Okay?